Welcome to the MyPAR 3D demo. Here we have a data set in our raw data folder, which is a dual beam fib 3D data set of particles in a steel sample. We can see there is some drift in the images that needs to be corrected, as well as an area of interest that we need to crop in on. So we're going to break this up into two stages. The first is going to involve the alignment and cropping of the data set. And once that is done, then we will apply the recipe to those images to create our full volume reconstruction so that we can visualize uh, and measure the 3D microstructure. So to begin, we're going to start in the batch processor. We are first going to run through the data set with no recipe. We will drag in all of the raw images and we'll choose a location to output the aligned data. We'll then give that folder a name. I like to number them. Then we will choose to align the data set and create an image stack. Once the batch is complete, we have our image stack file in the output folder. So we're going to open this up in the 3D toolbox. Now when you open the 3D toolbox, you'll see this layout. If we click this button, this will expose the image stack controls. We can then drag in that image stack file. And we can then slide through to verify that the alignment worked. This is the mutually aligned volume, so it has been pre-cropped according to how much each slice had to shift. If we want to see how much each slice shifted, we can expose the uncropped view. And here we can see the black edging indicating how much each slice had to shift for the data to become aligned. So let's go back to the cropped view. And here we can crop the data set further just inside the uh, area that we wish to analyze. So we'll go to Edit, Crop Stack, Draw. We'll adjust the rectangle to our area of interest. And this will crop down the data set further. We can then export the series of images back out so that we can build and apply a recipe. Export images, put them right inside the aligned folder. So then let's go over to the image processor to take a look at the recipe. This has already been created. We'll open up one of the aligned images and then we'll choose the recipe to segment the particles. So the recipe building will obviously differ for each sample, uh, for, for each type of analysis. Briefly, this was a fairly simple recipe which performed a background flattening followed by a noise reduction step followed by a threshold to select everything except the very dark regions so that we can then do a localized threshold within the red area here. And this gives us our particle selection, which we then refine with a slight dilation. We'll complete the particle separation in three dimensions after we have applied this recipe to all slices. We also would like to add a calibration factor. A calibration factor in X, Y, and Z is required to make a 3D reconstruction. So I'm going to click Calibrate, choose Load Different, because this particular slice doesn't have a scale bar, I'm going to choose one that does. And we can use the auto function to automatically find the scale bar so that we can set the scale factor. So it finds the bar 
we tell it this is 20 microns, now we have our xy scale factor. I should note briefly that when processing some dual beam fib data sets, they may require tilt correction, depending on how the sample was oriented uh, during uh, serial sectioning. If that's necessary, during the alignment stage, you can check off tilt correct. It will pre-populate with 52 degrees since that's a, the most common uh, inclination that samples have when being serial sectioned in a dual beam fib. And this will then tilt correct the samples, the, the slices in the y direction to account for the tilt. And that correction will be present in the aligned stack that was output uh, before. So going back to our recipe, we have it set with the scale factor. So let's save it. And now we'll go back into the batch processor to apply this to all slices so that we can get a, a reconstruction. We will load the recipe and we're going to process now the aligned images that were output from the 3D toolbox. We will again choose our output location and in this case we're going to output everything to a recon folder. Here's the scale factor. In this case we will not create an image stack or align the images further. We will make a reconstruction this time with a slice thickness that I know to be 50 nanometers for this data set. Once the batch is done, we can go back to the 3D toolbox to review the reconstruction. Now we can hide the image stack controls and we'll drag in the recon file that was output. So we can slide through these slices. Here's the XY slicing. We can slice from the YZ view or the XZ view. Same slicing can happen over here in the 3D viewer. Now if we wish to visualize an individual particle, it's helpful to first view this in labels view, where in this case each individual particle is a different color. Now in the case of something like this, if you click ID and click on this, you'll, you'll see the software thinks this is all interconnected. Again, we haven't done any separation, uh, but that can be done here in the 3D toolbox if desired. Uh, but let's choose just a simple feature that is separated so that we can quickly visualize just one. To do that, we'll click in the render section here on this blue icon, and we'll pick, you could, you could pick more than one, but you can pick the couple of features that you want to visualize. Uh, let's try do this one down here, pick this one that's more isolated. Click the check, and this will then make a rendering of just those individual features. If we wanted to try to separate this data set, uh, the features in this data set, uh, I would first try a pass in the XY direction, slice by slice, using separate features. Generally, a value of two or three works well. And this will then apply separate features to each XY slice. That will begin the separation we'll see that the separation likely won't be complete, so we can then reapply in three dimensions. So you see while there are some cross sections of a feature like this that have been separated, that may have not been made fully in three dimensions, there might be a pixel or two still overlap in the Z dimension that causes the software to still view this as one feature. So to complete it, we'll run it again, but um, in three-dimensional mode. So we'll go to separate features 3D. Generally, you'll choose high. 
and we'll enter the same separation of, of three that we did in 2D. This may take a little bit of time depending on the size of your data set and the performance capability of your PC. When it's finished, now you'll notice we do have a full separation of the features. So we could visualize just these two. If you were to click the binoculars, it would render a, uh, a full rendering of all particles in, in 3D. Animations like rotation or even slice through dimensions uh, with a visualization like this, a, a slice animation like this or like this, uh, as well as a rotation animation of re 3D reconstructions such as this can be made by clicking the movie icon and uh, following the steps within. If we want to make measurements, uh, we first suggest removing some of the noise features. Generally, features under 100 voxels can uh, usually be removed. That can be done under cleanup, reject features, 3D. We'll choose 100 and say accept. This is similar to a reject features in 2D, but working in the, the 3D volume, we see that's removed 165 features. And now we could get an overall volume fraction of the particles by doing measurements volume fraction. We see about 18, 19%. If we wanted a size distribution, we can do that from measure features. We'll say equivalent diameter We'll choose an output location for the measurements. And if we want to see a histogram afterwards, we'll leave this box checked. Here we see the measurements in nanometers. Here is a, a histogram of the results. This uh, graphic can be saved. This table can be exported to uh, a CSV file, although it already has been exported as the file name that you uh, chose uh, just a bit before. So that's been a brief demo of reconstructing a dual beam fib 3D data set from start to finish in MyPAR. Thank you very much for your attention and for being a MyPAR user. We look forward to helping you.